This video is one of a series numbered 1 to 8, which cover the basic concepts of the primary mathematics curriculum. There are two sets of supporting materials. One is the Maths Mesh Guide, a summary of research knowledge and pedagogical knowledge. The second is the Numeracy for All booklet, showing in detail how to make and use the resources mentioned here. The advantage of the children having resources and things to use is that it means that it increases level of participation um, and also allows then for the teachers to assess the children's learning. So one fantastic resource for participation and assessment and allows the teacher to assess the whole class um, very easily and very quickly is the show me board. So the teachers can ask the children to do something, they draw it on the board, they could work in pairs, small groups or individually and then on the teacher's command, the teacher will say one, two, three, show me, and the children hold up the board. And the teacher can just scan around the classroom and see immediately any children who maybe aren't participating and also can assess whether or not the children have understood what they're being asked to do. So the show me boards are very good and can be used in every lesson. Uh, number fans as well are another way that the child can share their learning with the teacher and the teacher can see everybody. Asking a child to raise their hand and give an answer is fine, but you only actually know whether that one child has understood or not. Again, giving them a time, so a countdown, so that they all hold up the answers together is good because one, you get them all participating together and also you know that they are giving you their answer, not as a result of looking at somebody else and copying. The place value fans as well, another very visual resource that the children can hold up uh, and show. Even things like the dice, so you can use these almost like mini flashcards and if the teacher, they've played a game and then the teacher is asking them, well show me the square and they can hold up the square, the teacher can check around the room very easily. Some of the larger dice and things can be used with the whole class, so you could have somebody coming out and sharing and showing the other children. Large flashcards are also very useful for the teacher to use with um, the whole class, but you can also use them for assessment if you place them around the classroom on the walls. So say you were doing some number work, you have flashcards with numbers on. If it's difficult to actually put them on the walls, then you can have children to stand around the classroom and they hold them up. And then the teacher can ask a variety of questions depending on the topic they've covered. And the children are asked to point to the flashcard. So point to the correct answer. Again, you give them a, a, code, a clue. So the countdown, one, two, three, point, and they all point to the correct answer. And again, it's very easy for the children to be assessed. For the teacher to see if one, are they participating? And two, are they all pointing in the right direction? So very simple ways um, of a teacher assessing, participating, and uh, finding out whether or not the children are understanding. More detail about the resources in this video and others can be found in this booklet, Numeracy for All, Resources for Teaching Mathematics. A guide for teachers and trainers on how to make and use low cost or no cost teaching and learning aids to encourage active and playful learning for maths in the classroom. Okay, let's go and teach some maths. These videos are from a partnership between VSO International and the MESH Initiative. Both organisations have a commitment to share knowledge freely around the world for the benefit of teachers and learners. Yeah.